I'm Scott Watson. I'm uh, with the Fayette County Knox Weed Department and the Idaho Weed Awareness Campaign asked me to come out and talk a little bit about poison hemlock. I uh, start getting calls on this pretty early in the spring. I'll have people call and they'll uh, describe the plant and they'll describe it as a parsley or carrot or a fern and I know right then what they're talking about. They're talking about poison hemlock. Poison hemlock is a biennial. It mostly grows in riparian areas, wet lands, irrigated pastures, rivers and ditches. And it grows to probably eight, 10 feet tall. And it's poisonous to humans and animals. So it's not really a good thing to have around. One thing about poison hemlock is it's got some uh, purple on it. A lot of the other uh, uh, wild carrots and ferns don't have that purple. A lot of times it's got purple spots. You can see the seed head on there right right there and it'll uh, later on it'll develop into a seed head about that big white seeds and we want to get it before we get to that stage because that's how this uh, plant spreads is by the seed. There's several ways to eradicate or to, to kill this plant. Um, one way is to pull the plants and which is usually better in the spring when they're small but as you can see the, by this patch and there's many more like it around here that's a lot of work. Bio control is a useful tool there's actually a little moth um, that we put out sometimes for a poison hemlock that, that um, it eats on the plant and again that's just kind of another another tool in the box. Um, the quickest way of course is herbicide. In the spring, um, if you get it when it's small, 2,4-D does a pretty good job of knocking it back. Um, but when it gets bigger like this, you're better off to, with a, a, a herbicide such as um, Tellar, Escort, or Open Site. My preferred method is in the fall, the fall treatment of something like Open Site will kill the, the plants that are up and it will also leave a residual on the ground. So any more plants to come that fall or in the spring, it will, it will hold them back. So if you, uh, if you were to apply in the fall, while it was small, with a, uh, a dose of open site, you should take care of it for the year. And then uh, if you go back to it next fall after a, a fall treatment, it'll be a smaller infestation. And you got, when you stay on it, um, eventually you'll have it eradicated.